yes, this is me. And if you're wondering why I look like I'm about to start crying over a jump rope routine, we're gonna need to rewind. Past a series of failures, broken promises, one broken toe, and the closest my brother has ever come to killing me. All the way back to two years ago when I stumbled onto a video that would change my life forever. Here we go. We're gonna start with uh, the one and only Floyd Mayweather. The sound, the movement, the beauty, it was like nothing I had ever seen before. And for reasons I still cannot explain, I knew that one day, I had to learn that routine. Holy sh**. And that's where my problem started. So with the help of my friends at Crossrope, I'm setting out on my goal to finally learn Floyd Mayweather's insane jump rope routine. Here we go. My goal is to be able to do this routine in 50 days. So for day one, I'm practicing some of the main moves that Floyd does through the routine to see where I'm at. Things like side swings, boxer steps, crisscrosses, and double unders crossed. And it quickly becomes clear that I've got a long and painful journey ahead of me. That was even harder than I expected. I am drenched in sweat. I was probably skipping for what? 10 minutes? 10 minutes. So many of these whip marks, my legs whipped. The one that hit my ass too, holy smokes. The ass one felt like it drew blood. I just wanna double check if this is something you can do in 50 days. Why? Because I kinda of think you underestimate how hard things are gonna be and if you don't hit the goal by day 50, it's gonna be winter, which means rain, snow, Christmas vacation, everything just gets harder and more delayed if you're picking something that you can't actually do in 50 days. Dude, I've got this. Okay. After a humbling day one, I head back out to get comfortable with the basics. And hopefully once I'm comfortable with that, I can try adding some more complicated moves. And I go back to working on the basics. However, even with the basics, I still have a problem. Holy. Floyd Mayweather does this and makes it look like it's nothing, so that man's cardio must be insane. I think that's gotta be my focus for this next week. Get my cardio back. Cause oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So on day four, I decide to adjust my focus to work specifically on doing cardio intensive circuits. Three to five minutes of skipping, followed by 60 second rest, then back at it again for another circuit. Again, and again, and again. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Holy no. sh**. I do not think I have ever had that happen before, and it just is a bit discouraging because my cardio is worse than I thought it was. Long way to go. Lots of improvement to be made. Gotta pace myself. While my first week hasn't been what I'd hoped for, I still feel confident in my 50 day goal. I just have to pace myself and take things step by step. I'm breaking this routine down into four parts. Part number one being coordination. The first part of the routine is mostly just boxer step done in different directions. So this part is the easiest part. Part two is combos. 
This part is a series of tricks combined consisting of side swings and crosses. This part is short, but I would still say it's medium difficulty. Part three, however, is double unders crossed. 14 crossed double unders in a row. This is the hardest part of the routine. Finally, part four, he finishes with running crosses. 25 consecutive running crosses, meaning we're ending also on another very difficult note. As for right now, I just gotta focus on getting my coordination back with the rope and getting my cardio back to where it should be. With each practice session, I notice my coordination with the rope get better and some of the old tricks that I used to know start coming back. I also incorporate some high intensity interval training to help improve my cardio. I'm using the cross rope app for a 19 minute guided workout, which sounds easy, but it definitely wasn't easy. Oh my gosh. At the two week point, I have noticed lots of improvement in my boxer step, my double unders have also gotten better. The crosses are definitely still a work in progress. And the cross double unders, well, it's pretty painful. Actually, just practicing crosses in general is painful. With every practice session, I am getting hit. And sometimes I'm getting hit very very hard. My hand is like numb from pain. It's like throbbing in pain. Do you see it like trembling? Oh no, no, no. So I've got this knuckle and this knuckle from the same hit. One single hit did this to me. Bro, I'm telling you, practicing these crosses is so painful. As the whips and bruises add up, I continue to practice day after day, and it definitely comes with progress. I'm very sweaty. That's the longest I've skipped in a long time. Let's go, baby. As the days go by, I definitely notice improvements in my coordination and my confidence with the rope. However, as much as I want progress to be linear, unfortunately, it isn't always that way especially with my crosses. Every single day I practice and I feel like I make no progress. And if I want any hope of completing this challenge in 50 days, I think it's time I got some help. You're trying to learn something that takes most people months and months, you know? So you have to always remember that as well. Like you're learning something that's not easy. And it's the reason why not many people in the world can do it. And if your mind can accept that. I just, just want to double check if this is something you can do in 50 days. I've got this. You'll be good. I know you're going to be good. Sure. This is Rushy. And he is incredible at jumping rope. He runs a YouTube channel all about helping people get better at jump rope. So I'm hoping he can help steer me in the right direction with this challenge. Let's start with like, let's say the crossovers, right? So I see that you're having to kind of really come out wide and then cross it. So instead of the elbows facing down here, you want to kind of feel like they're a little bit more back. So you have this kind of 90 degree look between the arms. I feel like the rope could be a little bit too long, but if you just take a look at my wrist positions now for the crossovers, they'll naturally stay in the same position. So when you do the first crossover, make sure your second one is literally on the same line. You can't drop below this kind of imaginary shelf. Once you've got this kind of position on your wrist is now how your thumbs and hands work. From here, skipping, to then facing behind you just to get maximum width. Try and go yeah. slow. Then you can start to build up a bit more speed. And then you won't really think about the rope. Be patient, trust the process as they say, and you're gonna get there, bro. I now have only 18 days left in this challenge and I am definitely feeling the pressure, but I've been working hard up to this point. I now have the advice I need from a coach. I've just gotta keep going and I'm gonna finish this thing strong. However, the only things standing in my way from completing this routine are the running crosses and the crossed double unders, which just so happen to be the most difficult and the most physically intensive parts of this routine. But 
I'm hoping that if I can implement Rush's advice and focus in on my technique, that I should be making progress in no time. And on any rest days, I try practicing without the rope to make it a bit easier on my body. How are we feeling? I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous, I feel tense. But I can do this. There is, like I can do this, I just need it to go <laughs> right, obviously. I need it to go right and I can do this. Cool. Feeling the pressure of the final day, I'm hoping that I can shake off some of the nerves throughout the easier first part of the routine. Hopefully after that, I can settle in and finish this thing strong. Hold up. While the first part of the routine goes well, I keep hitting a wall as I move into the cross double unders. And the more I try them, the more it hurts. I am going to implode. I feel like my brain's about to burst. Ow! Let's go again. You said 50 days, we gotta wrap this up. Let me take a minute. Dude, I hate this. There's just nothing I can do. Like I I, I practice almost every day. I think I'm like sore. I just like this thing is so much harder than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be done by now. And like I'm sitting here whipping my fingers over and over again, like for what? It's just not done, I just can't do it. I don't know, like what do you... I just thought it would be easier. And unfortunately, things weren't about to get easier. With winter in full swing, Getting in my practice sessions just got a bit more complicated. I've officially failed my 50 day goal, but I'm gonna keep going. Gotta keep going. I'm gonna finish this no matter how long it takes. So now I've just gotta find a new place to practice. While practicing in the wet and the cold of winter isn't ideal, what's even worse is that I'm still not seeing improvement. And with failure after failure and weeks turning into months, it really makes me wonder if this is even worth it. I don't know how well this one shows up, but it's puffy and it's turning black and blue. Ooh, you okay? I really 
just feel like I'm stumped. Like, I don't really know what to do. I, I can't do crosses. I cannot do, let alone, like, double under crosses. It's like I'm hitting my head against the wall over and over and over again. And, like, for what? For nothing. For nothing to show for it, which just makes it hard when it feels like you don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, you know? Looking for answers, I decide to revisit my call with Rush. You're trying to learn something that takes most people months and months, you know? So instead of the elbows facing down here, you want to kind of feel like they're a little bit more back. I feel like the rope could be a little bit too long for you. Too long for you. If the rope is slightly too long, you're having to kind of really come out wide and then cross it. But you're making the rope shorter and then naturally you will trip. 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 Once you've got a wrong rope length, you're going to be stuck for quite a long time. A long time. In an act of complete desperation, I order in a shorter rope to see if that will help me make any progress with this challenge. And while my expectations are definitely not high, at this point I am willing to try anything if it can push me one step closer to my goal. And while my first few attempts don't go well, after a few more tries, things actually start to click. That's progress. Bless this rope. You are what I've been missing. On day 87, I have a breakthrough. I was holding this in because there was a little old couple playing tennis next to me and I did not want to scare them, but let's go! Dude, I have finally made an ounce of progress. It has been weeks waiting for a breakthrough with this challenge. My goodness, this is long overdue. Dude, this is the progress that I... <laughs> Someone's definitely staring at me because they heard me scream. <laughs> this is the moment. This is like that turning point when things click, when I start to make progress and I finish this thing. This is it. Big W, boys. Big W today, let's go. While there are still some inconsistencies, my crosses feel so much better. And that feeling of making progress and improving drives me to work even harder. That one looked good. Even if it hurts sometimes. Actually, what am I saying? It hurts a lot. Blood has been shed for this challenge. Actual blood. <laughs> I feel like practicing this routine might be the hardest thing I've ever done. I mean, you're definitely getting better. I'm definitely getting better, but it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. And rather than just barreling through my practice sessions, I start using my phone to film myself, slow it down, and watch it back. And doing this throughout each practice session makes it so much easier to make adjustments and quickly see progress. It's chipping away. It's chipping away. And despite all of my failures and wit marks and moments where I just wanted to quit, I feel like I'm finally seeing the progress that I've been waiting for. Now, all that's left is to call up Brendan and tell him that I'm ready to try again. What's up? I think I can do it.
As I move towards the end of the first portion of the routine, I can feel my nerves start to tense up as I move towards the cross double unders. The only thing I can do now is try to relax and trust all of the work that I've put into this. That looked amazing. Oh. oh, I'm so tired. My shins hurt. My shoulders hurt. My wrists hurt. But I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Hey. Oh. How are you going to celebrate? <sighs> I think I gotta celebrate how Floyd would want me to celebrate. Make it rain all day long. Thank you to Crossrope for sponsoring this video. And thank you not only for sponsoring this, but for supporting me throughout this entire process. And I genuinely feel like they make the best jump ropes out there right now. They are super durable and can be used on any surface. I've been using mine for months and months intensely. And there's next to no signs of wear, which is honestly mind blowing. The handles are also interchangeable, so you can switch from a speed rope to a weighted rope to change up your workout. And their ropes come with free access to the Cross Rope app, which has tons of follow along workouts for every skill level. I've said it before, but I genuinely feel like jump rope is the most underrated exercise out there, and it goes beyond just an intense workout. I've personally noticed improvement in my foot speed and agility when I'm playing sports. It's improved my coordination, and it's helped me become a mentally stronger and more resilient person. So if you want to check out Cross Rope, you can head to the link down in the description and try their ropes out for yourself, and I hope you love them as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.